2011 Ultimate Builder Custom Bike Show in Novi, Michigan. Dave Gasper of EV Thunderbolt is in the uh, Performance Custom class. Uh, take us, uh, take a minute and give us a little about your background, Dave. Well, I um, a while back, I thought of this bike um, when the gas prices was four dollars or something a gallon, and I thought it'd be nice to have an electric bike. I wasn't really educated on the thing, but I was on the internet for probably about 300 hours or plus trying to um, find out what I had to do. I had help. I ended up with a motor, an old Harley frame. I had somebody that builds race cars, Dan Davies. He stretched the frame out. It's all molly tubing, the rest of it. So the batteries would fit. The covers here, this cover here, 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 is all made out of carbon fiber Kevlar hybrid cloth. It took me probably approximately two months to make the molds to make them fit perfect. So I've got a lot of time in this thing. I probably took me um, a lot longer than I should have. But a lot of the time is waiting for parts to get through the uh, mail. The batteries in it, I got 24 100 amp hour lithium ion batteries and I got a 46 horsepower AC motor. Um, the rest is the old Super Glide frame, stretched out. I put the paint job on like this. I'm not really too much into metallic, but being electric, I use the metallic um, paint. If the sun goes down, it looks black and gray. But with the um, lights on it, it shines, shines like a rainbow. I've had it on the road for approximately two years now, and I never really had a problem with it. It runs pretty quick. It's automatic, no shifting. And like right here, there wasn't enough room. And without this thing here, there wouldn't have been no chrome here, and it would have looked bah. So I had this cut out, put chrome behind it, and LED lights to help finish out and blend the bike in completely. Uh, the motor on this is a AC motor. Right. Uh, tell us a little about the motor. Well, the motor is an AC. It's not a direct drive. So we had um, my neighbor. Just so happened, my neighbor worked at Ford's, and he was an electrician. <laughs> he helped me out greatly on this. Lend favor. Um, we converted the AC. Got a converter. All the charging and stuff is right, um, like right here, if you go take this off, this is where you plug it in with a 110 volt. That comes off, and there's a simple plug-in. The batteries, I was told, are supposed to last um, approximately 10 years. It's like your phone battery. You plug it in when you're done, it charges. I get approximately um, 85 mile an hour with this bike. And it sh um, I haven't went the distance, but I have put about 50 miles in and it didn't take the battery down too far. And according to the guys from California, Thunderstruck Motors, they said I should be able to go about 75 miles on a charge. Uh, which companies other than uh, Thunderstruck were instrumental in getting your bike done? I was, a, I was on the line with people in different countries everywhere. I got stuff from Canada. I, every, I mean, everything came, it came from everywhere. I was trying to get a two-speed transmission made, and I was talking to England. That didn't, they didn't have anything like that. And um, everywhere, Thunderstruck Motors helped me a lot. Brian from Thunderstruck. He, he worked me through a lot of this stuff. I mean, I was green behind the ears behind this job. I mean, I, I learned everything on the internet. It, it's a good tool. Uh, if somebody would like to get a hold of you, how would they do that? You can look up www.evthunderbolt.com. You'll see a website, and on the bottom of the website, you can um, get in touch with me there. Very good. Thank you, Dave. Thank you.